sometimes in a season you, you gotta you gotta be lucky sometimes. I thought today we were. Um, you know, they had some guys that uh, that didn't play, and some of their other guys stepped up. And when I heard they weren't gonna play, my head just sunk because you know I know you, you, it's it's I was a player, so I understand it. What generally happens when they get that you just relax. And I thought we relaxed early and, and uh, gave them confidence. Uh, but again, if you look at all their games, all their games are close also. Uh, he's a really, really good coach defensively. and um, um, it, I think we both are, but we gave up a lot of points today. Um, what happens generally, and I told the guys, that you get to the point where sat late, mid-February Saturday games and leagues are hard because everybody is a dog days. And you got to find ways to scratch out wins. Everybody's over scouting. And uh, um, I just thought we did a great job of just hanging in there. Um, you know, we haven't, we haven't played well the last few games. We just, you know, we're, we're just, uh, you know, we, and then next week we get that eight-day break and it can't come soon enough for us. Uh, but uh, it's a great win for us. I thought, I thought uh, Jaden Coleman was terrific. Um, I thought the pass that he made to the play we ran up to, to at the end to uh, hit Forbes and get it to overtime, um, they, they executed really well. But, uh, you know, sometimes you got to win games when you just don't play well. And, uh, again, I say that and he's still scoring 80-some points. Uh, but uh, um, it's just a really good win for us. Well, I'll tell you my true thoughts was I wanted the ball actually a little bit earlier, but <laughs> but like a couple of possessions before, but I give all the credit to Sion. Sion just told me to stay with it. Mm -hmm. And so we came down and he made a great pass and I just had to make down the shot, which I did. Well, first of all, I knew I had the easy part. He got, he's the one that's got to hit the shot. I knew how they were going to guard it. Um, they guard exactly how we wanted it to. Uh, it's a great player making a great shot. You guys did not miss another shot. You, know, you did miss a shot. You guys should be free throws, but you missed it from, from the floor. Every shot went in, including the one you guys that got wiped off. And came in overtime. Just what's the feeling like when you get a shot like that? Just the momentum going forward. Man, I feel like once it, once. Once we hit that shot, the momentum changed. I mean, and then you hit that shot, the crowd gets behind us. So that just gives us that extra boost, even when we were tired, physically tired, mentally. So the crowd played a big part in that. Yeah, it's going to happen. You know, we're good players. I mean, you know, and Forbes will tell them you don't have nights like that. You know, and uh, if it was easy, man, everybody can do this. You know, and so he's had he's had a great year for it. But there, you know, there'll be times like this. That, you know, what I, what I'm excited about is that you know he played that way and we won. Mm -hmm. You know, and so to me that was that, that was probably one of the most impressive things. Yeah. That, that uh, and I keep saying we can win all types of ways, and, and we have. And uh, these guys just kind of believe and trust each other. You mentioned how you were nervous and stuff. Like, like, yeah. They had a guy. They had a guy who had two threes early. They may they made fourteen threes. They haven't made fourteen threes probably in the last three games together. And you know, and, and, and everything was falling. And they had mid range shots, yeah. like rolling around yeah. in the first half. They were rolling around the rim, they were well defended. Well, and that's why I said sometimes that when you can win these type of games, it's a sign of a good team. You know, for years, Tulane had won these kind of games. You know, and now we're winning those kind of games. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, again, that's what's impressive. And I thought our guys were really, really uh, down the stretch. Where it, we, yeah, this is probably the first time I've said that we look like a veteran team mm -hmm. down the stretch. Yeah, what were your thoughts? She definitely came out hot. There was some bad defense on some of the plays, but a lot of the shots, the shots that the guys that were taking was normal. Like, you know, just how you adjust. I mean, we just got to stick to it. I mean, I feel like. Coming out of the gate, we gave them a lot of open looks, and we was we were soft defensively. So I feel like once we picked up our intensity on defense, that's when they started to miss a couple of shots. So. Oh, that was huge. But truthfully, that's what we should have been doing the whole game. But once we focused like we should have been in the beginning, it was a different game. Once we were getting stops consistently, uh, changed the ball game for us. I want to say this again. I know that our students listen to this, but man, I thought our student crowd, I thought our crowd great. was great. great. I don't know if we win this game without our fans. I mean, so man, they got into it. They got loud in there. That kid missed the free throw. I think it was so loud in there that he, it kept, that gave us a chance. Mm -hmm. And I thought our crowd was, I mean, you could, I couldn't even communicate to these guys here. Uh, I, I, it gave me chills, I'll be honest with you. And so 
Um, I just want to say this. Thank you to our students. I didn't have to pay for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. <laughs> so not only do we get the win, we got the students here. I don't have to do Uber tonight. So <laughs> thank you to the students and our fans. And you mentioned, Dave, we've always known that you like that. Yeah. just under pressure. And that last time you get to do the double flash job. We've seen that. I mean, I, that, today was Scout Team Jalen, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it definitely was. was. He does that all, he's, the he's that all the time. He's done that all the time. And he's getting more and more confident about understanding what we're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a hard cover now. When he yeah. sees that ball go in, I mean, these guys will tell you, man, it, it's like an ocean twin. You know? He was actually upset earlier in the position that Kevin did get in the ball. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. He came from all the way across court. Cross court. In, yeah. in less than a second. <laughs> less than a second. <laughs> he pushed me out there. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, uh, he's, you know, I'm glad he's on our side because when he makes those shots, man, yeah. it, it helps us. So he was really good tonight. Yeah, that was, that was, great. That was his career high today. Sion got a career high today also. Were you coming in today feeling more aggressive before the ball, or did it just come to you? I uh, just kind of try to let it come to me. There are games like this, and I'm glad it happened today because we really needed it. But really, it's just trying to find a way to win ball games, and that's what we needed today, and I'm glad I was able to do that. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Yeah.